Robert Santos is going to serve on two committees in the House of Representatives on behalf of the Republican Conference. They will be the Small Business Committee and the Space, Science, and Technology Committees. Uh, and I actually just caught up with the House Speaker Kevin McCarthy a few minutes ago as he was leaving the Capitol. He confirmed to me our reports uh, about the Santos committee assignments. And there was some talk uh, as the Republicans were negotiating exactly where Santos was going to end up that perhaps he may only be given one committee assignment, but uh, Republicans decided to stick with protocol and put him on two committees. And I asked Speaker McCarthy about that specifically, and he said this is how it works. Kevin McCarthy appears to be unwilling to do anything about George Santos. Not even when the man's fraud directly impacts McCarthy's people. You're not going to believe this story. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I'm your host, Adrian Lawrence. On Tuesday, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy recounted an incident tied to the less than reputable antics of Congressman George Santos. I'll let him tell you himself. Santos gets seated on the committee today. Um, yeah, because we will be done with um, all committees today. He'll get seated on committees, you, yes. Uh, you yes. said yesterday you had some questions about his past. Did you raise concerns during the campaign season before the election? Well, I raised cons uh, my staff raised concerns when the, he had a staff member who impersonated my chief of staff, and that individual was let go when, when Mr. Santos found out about it from there. That's right. One of George Santos' staff members went around the House representing themselves as being Kevin McCarthy's chief of staff. And we can only presume that this unidentified and no longer employed individual was trying to leverage the title of a House Speaker's chief of staff to get something of value. You know what? That seems to really sound like someone that Santos would hire on his team. What's that old adage about birds of a feather? Anyway, I'm sure this isn't going to be the end of the problem Santos and his people will bring upon McCarthy's house, particularly now that the gentleman from New York has been assigned to serve on the House's Small Business Committee and Science, Space, and Technology Committee. Because really, how much does the GOP care about small businesses or science? What they really should be worried about is the committees that Santos wanted to be on. McCarthy allies made a decision. They gave him two committees, not the committees that Santos wanted. He wanted higher profile committees dealing with financial services as well as with foreign affairs. But he did get two committees and one of the committee chairman, Roger Willeman. Will yeah, that's right. Santos, a.k.a. Anthony DeVolder, a.k.a. George Anthony DeVolder Santos, tried to get assigned to the House Financial Services Committee despite recently working for a Ponzi scheme. He's facing fraud charges in Brazil, has a history of reportedly swindling people out of money, and can't seem to explain his campaign spending or financing sources. Yeah, that concerns me almost as much as Santos trying to get on the Foreign Affairs Committees, given the Washington Post's recent exclusive finding that the New York congressman was deep in with a wealthy right-wing businessman who was the cousin of a sanctioned Russian oligarch who also happens to have coordinated connections for Donald Trump. You know, we don't know the Santos person. All we know is he's a fraud, and that's utterly terrifying. Yet Kevin McCarthy is not doing a damn thing about it. Yeah. So what do you think it's going to take GOP's leadership to send Santos packing? You let me know in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button, and thanks for watching.